So hi, we are Team 8, and this is our toy design project. <coughs> My name is Namad. I'm Rohit. My name is Rafa. I'm Daniel. And our team, uh, the toy name is the Purdue Boilermaker Rocker. Um, so the toy <laughs> overview, this is just a picture we got from the CAD. Um, just put on a video presentation. So this is uh, based on the Purdue theme. It's the <coughs> Purdue Boilermaker Special Train. And then we have the, the second part of the, of the project like over here where we have the mechanisms. And it's just uh, three like, uh, pictures of all the different uh, views of the train, top view, side view, front view. Uh, just a rough picture. And I will like, give it to Rohit to present the story behind the project. Uh, well, the <coughs> main story behind this project is pretty simple. Um, as a child, or as the main concept when you think of as a toy for a kid, and we kind of incorporated in our toy is something that we found really exciting during our childhood. The first thing when you go to a playground is you go on seesaw. That's like the funny, the most first thing that you do. So that's the one of the things, one of our mechanisms was placing a seesaw right behind the train. And also in the area where we grew up, we had a lot of trains as transportation. And also it happens to be the fact that the Purdue mascot is a Ballmaker Express, which is also a train. And there's no other better way to show a Purdue, more Purdue prize than making a Ballmaker Express. And of course, we put and we made all of this together, and then we put in, and, and our idea was based on a seesaw slide and the Ballmaker Express together. So this is what our good Ballmaker outfit looks like. <coughs> and our target audience is basically. Uh, we, from 5 years to 20 years, this is like our younger age group, we didn't put anything below 5 years because we have like certain small parts so that may cause a choking hazard. So we have 5 years to 20 years, that, so I believe that that age group is better for them and they can understand what's going on. And also for 6 years and above, because our project looks, it's simplistic, so the, so the beauty in the project is lies in its simplicity. So. And it's it's a it's a very elegant looking piece, so it can uh, it can be like an antique or a collectible item for other people. <coughs> and well, the play value uh, of this toy is uh, first of all it teaches kids about the about Purdue Pride and what the Purdue stands for, and of course all the mascots. And uh, it's a general neutral toy; even anyone can play with this. And there are two specific mechanisms that we include in the toy. Uh, one is the seesaw and one is the flag which goes up and down. So these are the interactive mechanisms of the toy. And now Rahul, the key features and mechanisms. Alright, so, yeah. Alright, so I'll be talking about some of the key features and mechanisms. The first one is the belt mechanism. So here, like for the wheels to rotate, we basically create a pin connection so that the wheels rotate about its own axis. And then like we created like a a belt connection between the body skeleton of the front wheels and the back wheels so that they move with respect to each other. And then we also created a second belt connection between the back wheel of the train and the front wheel of the seesaw. And then a third connection, third belt connection between the front and back wheels of the seesaw. So basically the purpose of this belt connection is so that you know all the wheels move with respect to each other. Second mechanism. And the second motion for our for a toy is flag going up and down. So here, as you can see, like we basically designed a kind of like a U-shaped axle, which helps the flag move up and down like this. <coughs> and then like, so, and the axle was, like axle on the wheels were made as rigid body, so that, you know, as the wheel rotates, the axle sort of rotates with it. And then for the flat post to move, we basically created a, a pin connection between the, this ring over here and the axle. And then we created another constraint for the top of the flat post, so you know, it just moves like along that axis. <coughs> so like, you know, just as the wheels are rotating, the flat post also moves up and down. Uh, and the third mechanism we use is the cam and gear mechanism. Um, it's basically, it's at the back of the train, uh, this side, so we have a small gear over here at the back and then a bigger gear here so it doesn't rotate as fast as the small wheels and then it's like the twice the size of the smaller gear and then there's a cam over here which rotates about its axis uh, about the, the, the axle on top and then at the back 
on this side, the return mechanism <coughs> for the seesaw is just a spring action. So if it goes like back and forth, the spring puts it back up. So that's our third mechanism that we put in this, in this design. Um, one of the things that we just wanted to, well, for the belt mechanism, I just want to add that uh, when we're actually like moving this train, uh, um, there's a lot of like this, this smooth surface, so we really need to add some like, more friction to the tires, some like rubber band or something to include. So that's why we use paper right now uh, for demonstration purposes. And then uh, just to, I just want to show you a video. So yeah, so I can show you like a live demonstration of this. So I start right here and then just go like So you can see the seesaw and go back and forth on the flag and it's really good for that. I mean I guess all the areas that we can improve are like you know we could have included like a wind up mechanism so we can just you know wind up the key and the tray would move on its own. And then like we could all also like you know made the piece of different material instead of putting it so that you know it can run on mm -hmm. the unexpected surfaces also. And then also the rapid prototype like we didn't know, <coughs> know how it was the first time to be printing it so we didn't really understand like, how much clearance we would have. So we would just we had to sand a lot and machine it a little bit. But and then I need like larger tires over here. So and that concludes our presentation. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that you don't get nice pressure. 